Thanks for joining me for this week's State of the Market. This week I want to talk about the unique opportunities that this particular market presents to the strategic investor who is looking for a long-term investment. By that, I mean uh, probably at least five to seven years. Could be longer, maybe just something that an investor wants to buy and hold in their portfolio. The reason that I am bringing this up now is that last week I talked about uh, the nine-year supply of new development uh, inventory that we're going to have in Manhattan alone by the end of this year. Between that and the prices that have been adjusting over the last three years uh, and now seem to have adjusted even a little bit further, uh, there really has never been a better time to uh, jump in and invest in the city. Uh, this is a great play for someone who is looking to diversify their portfolio, who has perhaps in the past invested in New York, um, then maybe pulled back and decided they were gonna wait um, for another market cycle. We're in that cycle now. This is a great time. Uh, I've shared an article with you just generally about investing. Um, it, it's a bit broader than um, what I'm talking about right now. Kind of focuses on what um, what would be a good investment property from the standpoint of the tenant. So how to attract a tenant, how to buy a property that attracts a tenant. But what I'm really talking about, and really I think the point of this um, is to talk about how prices have never really been lower. I mean, not in a very, very long time. There is that combined with an abundance of inventory. So there is really a lot of negotiability. For someone looking to come in, maybe uh, buy uh, several properties and hold them, make some money on the rental, but really this is about letting it appreciate. And that's why I say it's a longer play, five years, seven years longer, um, because that's where, you know, this is a unique opportunity, this market, to buy low uh, or relatively low and then wait for the market to uh, come back and increase so that you can sell it. Take a look at the article. Let me know if you have any questions about it. But maybe more importantly, let me know if you have any questions about what investing in the New York City real estate market could look like for you. As always, feel free to share this with someone you think might benefit from the information. I will be back with more insights and information about the state of the market. In the meantime, take care.